Welcome to IPython Notebook. This is just a short overview tutorial to get you uh, comfortable with the, the interface. So when you first arrive at this screen, you'll see different notebooks that are already available to you. Here we're going to create a new notebook. Um, if you go under the new and click on Python 2, uh, you can start a new notebook. There are a number of different menu options that you should go through um, after this tutorial in detail. Let's start by giving this notebook a name. So, intro to notebook. You can call it anything you want. Oh, that already exists for me. So, intro to notebook. And so you'll see that there's a cell that you can input information into. So like every good computer tutorial, let's start with hello world. And you can run a cell by either clicking on the play button here or doing a keyboard shortcut of Option Enter. Uh, to see a whole slew of keyboard shortcuts, click Control M and then H, and that brings it up. So Control M H, and there's a whole slew of shortcuts that you should check out after this tutorial. So other things you can do in Python, of course, are to assign um, values to variables. So let's say x equals three print x and there it is printed to the screen. You can move uh, cells up and down using the up and down arrows. You can also cut cells uh, by using the scissors and definitely uh, save often uh, so you can either save using the menu, file save, or like in Word documents um, Apple S saves your document as well. Um, with Python, it's really helpful to import different libraries to let you extend its capabilities. So here I'm going to import or do PyLab inline. And that allows me to bring in NumPy or NumPy, which is, lets you do different math functions, and Matplotlib to do plots. So let's, uh, let's give x, assign x a range of numbers. So from 0 to 10. Let's do five values between 0 and 10. So see what I mean? There's 0 to 10, and it's array with five numbers. And then we can plot. Uh, let's plot x versus x squared. And there's our plot. And it plots it in line because I've told PyLab to be in line. And then you can go and edit a cell and rerun it all within that same setup. So I just changed this to plot from x, x versus um, 2x, and so it changes the plot. So here we've just been using uh, the code within the notebook, but it's definitely useful in notebook to um, annotate and help guide through uh, a program that you're putting together um, using Markdown. So here, first let's create a new cell. So you do that by clicking on the plus button. And then I'm going to move it up so it's at the very top of my page. And rather than write code, I'm going to use Markdown, which lets me give headers and other um, annotations. So in Markdown, use a single hashtag. It's a, a big title. So this is my intro to the notebook uh, title. And then I want a subtitle, so I'll create an, another cell make it so that it's in markdown and two hashtags makes, makes it slightly smaller so um, and again running that so you have a slightly smart, smaller header and three hashtags would be slightly smaller and so on or you can have just no hashtags at all and it's just a normal size text so that really helps uh, in keeping your notebooks clean so that's a general quick overview to IPython Notebook. Um, there's so much more to explore, um, but I'll let you go do that on your own. Uh, thanks!